This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 5-6, problem number 29. Don builds a pyramid with spheres. The square base consists of 3x3 three three spheres. The middle layer has 2x2 two two spheres, and there is one sphere at the top. There is glue at each contact point between two spheres. How many glue points are there? A, 20, B, 24, C, 28, D, 32, or E, 36. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the exam, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. So to start, I've drawn the 2x2 two two layer of spheres right next to the 3x3 three three layer of spheres they gave us in the problem in order to better visualize the different levels that make up this pyramid. So we're trying to find the total number of contact points between the spheres. We can divide the contact points into two general groups, the ones that hold it together vertically. So for example, the contact points between this sphere and the spheres below it, and then the spheres of the second level and the ones below them. We're going to start with that type of contact. So as we can see, this top sphere is touching the four spheres below it in the second level. So each sphere has four contact points with the spheres below it. So for between the first and second layers, we have four contact points. And then between the second level and the third level, we have four contact points per sphere, and we have four spheres in the second level. So each one of these is in contact with the four beneath it. So in total, we have 20 so-called vertical contact points. Now we also what have what I'm going to call horizontal contact points, which are basically the, the contact points holding it together horizontally. Let's start with the, those types of contact points on the second level. So we have one, two, three, four for the second level. And then for the third level, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Now, as you can see, I simply counted them. However, if we might be asked to find the number of contact points of, say, a 4x4 four four, um, layer or a 5x5 five five or something much larger, it might be a good idea to try to come up with a general formula to give us these numbers of 4 and 12. Let's try to do that. Well, we can see that the number of contact points per column is n minus 1, because we have 2 when it's 3, 1 when it's 2. And then we have n columns, right? As you can see, we have a column here, column here, column here. But then keep in mind that we also have to multiply this by 2 because we have contact points in this direction and also contact points in the opposite direction. So that could be, this can be used as a general formula to find the number of horizontal contact points. As you can see, if we plug in 3 for n, we get 2 times 3 times 2 which is 12, and then if you plug in 2, just to double check, we'll get 1 times 2 times 2, which is 4. And again, a general formula like that might be more useful when they ask for a bigger number, but it's a nice thing to try to figure out um, as an extra challenge. Okay, so now let's add up our total number of contact points. We have the 4 plus 12, 16 horizontal plus 20 vertical, we have 36 total glue points, which is answer choice E.
Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.